everyone so today I am doing a full face of makeup that you guys are choosing me on Instagram stories I did do Twitter a while ago I'll link the video down below I, it must have been like a year ago or even more like it was a very long time ago so I thought I would do an Instagram one today and I've basically just chosen a whole lot of products that are either brand new or products that I've recently tried or products that I have not used in a very very long time that are like in my collection I also chose like some colorful stuff not just neutral so hopefully this is a little bit of a challenge to make it look nice. I haven't really looked at what you guys have chosen yet so it's a bit of a surprise to me as we go so let's just jump in and get started. A quick shout out as well to Dermalogica. They have sponsored this video today and I currently have on a face mask if you couldn't tell. I love this mask. This is like one of many hydrating masks I own but this one in particular I love. It comes in a mini as well which I actually take overseas with me sometimes I need to get a new one this one's like almost empty this is a mask that you can apply all over your face neck I even put it on my lips and under my eyes in a really thin layer as well it just hydrates your skin and makes it so plump and beautiful it does have hyaluronic acid in it and it's really nice before makeup or if your skin's just feeling really dry dull when I'm traveling sometimes I wear it like on the plane just to keep my skin really nice and plump because my skin just dries out like crazy in air conditioning and in winter it's amazing here in New Zealand the weather is freezing so I've been living off hydrating masks this one is amazing I'll link it down below. It's basically made to restore your skin's protective barrier and enhance your moisture levels for healthier and smoother skin. So yeah, really nice right before your makeup if you do feel very dry and parched, which I do right now. And it's just a really nice gel texture and it's actually quite like cooling. It feels so nice on your skin like immediately. This is also paraben free, cruelty free and a vegan formula, which is amazing. All right, so I left the mask on for about 10 minutes or so you can see immediately like I have a really nice fresh glow to my skin it feels a lot softer to the touch I just exfoliated before using it by the way I didn't have anything on it my skin so I will also put a little bit before and after on the screen right now just so you can see it in action and then just before we jump into oh, <laughs> just before we jump into the actual makeup I'm just going I need to freaking get some more of this I'm just going to put on my sunscreen for the day so I'm using the Prisma Protect SPF 30 it also acts as a bit of a moisturizer and gives me a nice glow. Now we are ready to begin the makeup. Let's see what you guys have chosen for me. I'm kind of nervous, but mostly excited. So for the primer, you guys picked the Milk Primer, which I've only used like once or twice. I tried it in a full face first impressions, I believe. It is called the Hydro Grip Primer. It's like a super glue kind of primer and it's supposed to be kind of hydrating as well. So I'm just going to take it between my fingers and just Press this onto my skin. I only use a little bit. I use like one and a half pumps, but the pumps are like super small. I think the first time I used it, I may have used a little bit too much. The more you play with it, it kind of gets a bit like tackier as well. Next up, we are going to do a little bit of concealer just to carve out my eyebrows. Like you guys know, I've been loving to do lately. So the winner just is it the Tarte Shape Tape. So around my eyebrows today, I'm going to use the shade Light Medium Sand. I do have like fake tan on right now, as you can hopefully tell. <laughs> so I just am using a little bit of a darker color than normal. Can you hear that plane in the background? It is so loud. That must be like a military plane or something. And I'm also listening to Skrillex in the background. So hopefully that doesn't bother anyone. <laughs> I'm just going to take my little jewel ended petal brush and paint that around the outsides of my eyebrows. I find that this concealer compared to like my Too Faced Born This Way or my NARS concealer that I usually use, it's a little bit more like liquidy. So it can like leak down into my eyebrows a tad if I put on too much. So I'm just trying not to put in too much. Breaking a Sweat is my favorite Skrillex song of all time. I love it. And I'm also just going to blend that down up my eyelid and we use this as a bit of an eye primer today as well. Okay, next let's go straight into the eyeshadows. And I didn't really like ask people in order what to use either because I didn't want people to try to suss out a certain look. I just like did it completely randomly. So this was actually quite a close call, but we are going with the ABH Alyssa Edwards collection or eyeshadow palette, I should say. It looks like like this and I have actually been meaning to use it a few times lately so I'm really excited I don't really know what colors to go for but I do know that I did some like quite colorful blushes and eyeliners and stuff and like I said I haven't actually looked at what you guys have chosen just yet so 
I'm going to be making completely random guesses on what colors to go for in this palette. This could end up being a total disaster. I'm really feeling this super bright purple Barbie color. Barbie? Barney. Barney purple color. There's neutrals, there's a bit of yellow, there's some like reddy colors. I don't know. I'm going to start out with an angled eyeshadow brush. I'm just cleaning it. And let's take the shade Unicorn Tribe, which is a really nice kind of muted lavender purple color. And I'm going to, whoa, that's so much more pinky on the actual eye. Holy crap. I'm going to apply this on like the first like half of my eyelid and just like kind of do circular motions to start blending it out. But we're mostly just picking on the color. And then on the outer corner, oh my God. Don't really know what I'm doing. Let's take some Texas Made. I am literally in the dark right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how this is gonna look when it all comes together. As you can see, these colors are amazing though. Just saying, like, look how pigmented. I'm just using the exact same brush to place the color down. And then we're just gonna go back into the shade Unicorn Tribe and just build up the purple a little. I'm just using the same brush to try and like blend them together as well. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Supreme, which is this like peachy kind of brown shade. I know that sounds weird, peachy brown, but that's literally what it looks like to me. And I'm just going to start putting a little bit of this on the very edge of the pink, just to tone it down a tiny bit. It's like pressing it on there. I cannot live without this brush, by the way, guys. This is the Angled Shadow Brush. It's from the Vegan um, Collection on exobeautyshop.com. And it is a dream to work with. I kind of forgot about this brush for a long time. It's just been like sitting in my little brush holder, but it's so easy to use and it like blends and places colors like Oh, so good. I'm also putting it in front of that purple a little bit just to soften everything a touch. And then I'm going to take a blender brush and I guess I'll just, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll mix together a couple of the shades and just start working a bit and just to buff out the colors ever so slightly, make them look a little bit softer. Pretty high to my, like almost to my brow bone. Oh, I'm going very intense today. This is out of my comfort zone. That's full show. I'm just worried about like blending the very tops of my eyes rather than in like onto the eyelid because I'm going to cut out a little bit, I think. And then I think what I'm going to do is go back in with my angled eyeshadow brush and take the super... Oh, I... mm. I'm going to do the more muted purple. This one right here, it's called BB DC. My neighbor is yelling. Like, what are you up to? I'm just going to... Holy shit, that's so dark. Apply that to my outer corner. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm taking the shade Unicorn Tribe, which is the lighter, more muted, lavender, purpley color, and applying that on top and blending it somewhat into that pink somehow. It's not really working. Probably should have done pink on the inner corner and lavender on the outer corner, but we're rolling with it at this stage. <laughs> this looks so messy, but we will do the baby wipe trick. It's like this one patch of color that's going so Patchy! It's like not sticking to my eyelid. What's happening? Can you see it? Like right there. What? I'm just gonna use a little brush to pack the color on in that spot. It's like not sticking. Oh, that worked. Okay, maybe it's the brush. I don't know. Maybe I should be using a different brush to blend it on. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up now because I'm very distracted. I'm just swiping that up towards my brow, like winging it out. This eye came out so much better than this eye. So that's annoying. Um, let's just see what happens. I'm going to use a little bit of an eye base and then go back to the palette. I'm gonna use this like lilac color. <laughs> I'm going to use it on a eyeshadow brush by XO Beauty. This is P. Louise Vivid Violet. It's like tapping and pulling it down and we're going for something like this, apparently. Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the shade DDG. And I'm going to apply this on the edges with the same brush. I just use the primer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. I don't know what came over me. I'm just going to like fade it in a little bit onto the primer as well. I'm going to go over that again in a moment. I'm just going to like do the other eye and try to match it up first. So I'm going to like fade from like the actual eye primer color into this like shimmery purple situation. So the very ornate. Awesome. The ornate corner. The ornate corner is gonna be like the matte lilac, and then it's gonna go into the purple from the palette. Now I'm going to touch up this like pink on the outer corner because I put the purple too high. I don't know what's happening. That bird is really loud right outside my window. Hello. Why is my ugly side of my face looking so much better right now? It's so offensive. I am offended. And then I'm going to take BB DC. <laughs> 
and I'm going to apply more of that to the outer corner so that's just so patchy and just like yeah just darken it uh, help me why have I done this this is what happens when I try to do something clever it gets worse and worse every time I try to fix it I'll just like sit on this side of my face today there's no coming back let's just leave it there it's not getting better. It's just not. We're going into foundation because I'm just sad. Oh, it's not even a foundation. I did a tinted moisturizer or a foundation and you guys picked the NARS tinted moisturizer. It was kind of close again. I've never used this. Well, actually, I feel like I may have tried it years and years and years ago, but I cannot remember. So this shade here is in St. Moritz um, Medium 1. Hopefully this color is alright for me right now because my other shade I do have is like a pale one. You can get this off Mecca. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. But good news is we do have our shape tape so I can spot conceal in the places that I want to. So I'm still going to use a beauty sponge even though it is a tinted moisturizer and not a foundation. I'm going to bring this all the way down my neck and onto my chest a little bit too. That's why I'm applying so much. I like the smell of this. Is that weird? My skin is hydrated AF right now and I live for it. This would be such a pretty everyday product if you just want like a little bit of color balancing, a tiny bit of coverage, heaps of hydration. Does it have SPF in it? I don't think it does, but I put on my SPF beforehand anyway. I feel like I took the purple too far up. Is that what's happened? I don't know. Oh. I'm actually just so sad, like every time I look at my eye makeup, I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> Lucky I'm not doing anything too important today, otherwise I would be having to restart my makeup. So I've blended that everywhere, I've blended it out, it's so easy. I like how it looks, lovely and glowy. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Light Medium Sand by Tarte and I'm going to apply a little bit just where I need to add extra coverage. So thank you guys so much for actually choosing this concealer because it's saving my complexion right now. I'm gonna like literally put it just everywhere I want extra coverage, which is all down the bottoms of my cheeks, just where I get like more redness. Look how nice that blends out too. Around my nose, on my breakouts, and the colors go perfectly together as well. And then under my eyes, I'm actually going to go in with the shade Light instead, just to brighten up a little bit. Just doing a few little dots. My makeup, like I actually think the colors look dope. Like, if that didn't happen, it would look pretty cool. It's just, bring it right up to that outer corner and up into the inner corner. Tarte Shape Tape did grow on me a lot, especially when I do use it with like such a hydrated base like I have today because it doesn't like go as dry and cakey. I felt like when I first started using it, it was just a bit too dry and cakey. Maybe I was using it with the wrong kind of base and like also using Wish March, like, that looks really nice on top of the NARS. Now let's quickly sit under our eyes. I'm just gonna see what you guys have chosen. Ooh, the Milani Translucent Light Medium Powder, which I do like under the eyes. Sometimes I use the banana color as well. It looks like this, so let's go ahead and just pack that on under the eyes so hopefully my concealer does not crease through the day because I can't deal with any more makeup disasters right now. Just using a small face brush, I like to kind of pack it on. This one's such a finely milled powder as well, which I love. So it doesn't look super heavy under there or like super drying. My skin is glowing. Okay, what about the rest of my face? Well, this was another pretty close one, but we are going with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. So I have the shade Warm Light here. Hopefully this looks good. I'm just going to use it on a nice big powder brush and just gently tap that all over just to set everything in place and add just a little bit more coverage. Now, just before we continue on to the eye makeup and do a little bit more work, I am just going to use a little bit of setting spray just to liven up my skin a little bit and soak up any excess powders since I just applied a couple of powders. And we are using the Becca Glow Spray, which is perfect. So this will perk up my skin a lot again. Just gonna give it a good shake up and apply that everywhere. Okay, I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow palette real quick and just do something on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to take Unicorn Tribe again, which is the lighter, more like pinky, lavender-y color. And just apply that underneath. Oh, actually, I should check what eyeliner color we're doing and maybe I could like blend that out a little bit as well. I'll do that next. Okay, we're using purple eyeliner. It was out of purple and brown. So this is the Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank by Colourpop. I'm going to pack that onto my waterline and then blend it down. I was so tempted to touch out my, touch up my outer corner again. 
it's still looking so patchy. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I over blend it. I don't know. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow. I don't know if it's the primer. I don't know if it's the concealer. I don't know. But I'm back in with Unicorn Tribe. I'm gonna add even more and just make that kind of smoky. This is very hectic. Hey, I'm just blending those inner corners to make sure there's no harsh lines. I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm also gonna take some more of that dark purple and just try to make this side darker to match. <laughs> I don't know what else to do to make it look better. I just feel like I need to pretend like it was something I did on purpose. We all have these days, right? Please tell me we all have these days and it's not just me. And then let's do eyeliner and at least I can like line it up and pretend like that's meant to be like a deep eyeliner color. I'm praying that it's black eyeliner because I also said brown. Oh, uh, yeah, it's brown. Thanks guys. Thank you. You know what? On a normal day, I would love brown eyeliner, but I was just really hoping for black today. So it is the Benefit Brown Roller Liner. I love this though. I do love this, but oh no. Uh, I'm so dramatic. I'm sorry. I know I am. I know. I'm just doing like quite a thick outer corner. Hello. I'm gonna keep it real thin on the rest of the eye. I don't know if this is getting better or worse, but <laughs> for my mascara, we've got the new Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced, which I really like. Brush is huge and fluffy, and the formula is really nice and thickening. I'll do one eye so you can see the before and after. I don't know if I've used this on YouTube yet. I know I did use it in like my real life and I used it on IGTV but I don't know if I've shown you in a video so this is how one single coat looks hopefully you can see the difference past the bright AF eye makeup I reckon if you guys like better than sex mascara you'll also like this one it's a little bit more wet slightly I think um but yeah I think it's probably more like separating than better than sex but super dark super black and it makes your lashes long. And then next up we've got lashes. Like false lashes, not these ones. So this was another close call, but we are going for the more dramatic pair on the bottom, which are the Sinner by Exo Beauty. I love this pair. I actually haven't worn these in a long time, probably like a year. So you guys did good because I often wear the other pair. So here is the four lashes and here is it the after. So the lashes definitely helped to really amp up the look a little bit and balance it out, I think. And I feel like, you know, it's not perfect but we have managed to kind of make it look a little bit better I love the colors though like I love the colors so I'm stoked about that I'm going to use my highlighter and my inner corner and everything soon but first let's do brows the pencil combo so we've got gimme brow by benefit and then we also have the Kevin Aquan eyebrow pencil which I've used once and really enjoyed I have the shade brunette and it's like a super tiny little tiny 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 tip pencil so I'm going to use this just to fill in the sparser areas of my eyebrows. I swear the birds think it's spring today. Just because the sun's out slightly, they're like, yay, springtime. No, but they are very cute, but wow, they're noisy. This is a very interesting video right now. I'm going to use my Gimme Brow in shade 3. Just a tiny bit because I don't want my eyebrows to be too over the top. And then we are going... I don't even know what we're gonna do next actually. Contour, I guess. Give my little potato face a little bit of shape. The winner is Tarte. And I've been loving this palette lately, so I'm kind of stoked. I love both of these options. But yeah, I've been using this a lot, and I think the color's really, really nice. So this is the Tarte Palette Hampton Weekender Contour Palette. I'm just gonna use the contour color on a domed contour brush. I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones. Color is so good. Honestly, it's, it's, ugh, this lighting is just not doing it for me right now. Is that better or worse? Like, I look muddy. I think there must be like a nest in my roof right now. Because those birds sound very close. Ooh, I'm excited for the bronzer. The winner is the Buxom Glow Bronzer. So I chose like a matte and a glowing formula. This is in the shade Tahiti. Buxom bronzer and as you can see it's got this beautiful glow to it it's really pretty so I'm just going to use a very small amount of this just over my cheeks and nose and temples just to warm up my skin it smells so sweet that's so random where did that fluff come from <laughs> so pretty okay so that is on let's check out the blush we are going with another buxom product this blush looks so stunning kind of glad it's this one because i definitely think it's the more subtle one out of the two it's in the shade intoxicate and it is like a duochrome it's like kind of like orgasm by nars like a pinky peachy golden shift i'm gonna use the same brush you can see it on there it looks very pigmented and just apply a little bit of that onto my cheeks. Oh, I think I used too much. Oh, the shine is so intense. Ooh, whoa. It's almost a little bit muddy on top of that bronzer. 
plus the lighting is just so trash. <laughs> Love that for me. Eyeliner, please, please look good. I don't think I've tried either of these ones. Master Chrome wins and it is pink. Ah, I wish it was the other one so I could have done just like something really simple. This is in the shade of Rose Gold. I've never used this before. Looks like this by Maybelline. I'm going to use it on a detail face brush. I love the pattern in the pan. Hopefully it's not super bright on my face. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It's definitely kind of pinky, but it's kind of like a, it is rose gold. Like it's got that uh, golden kind of undertone to it where it doesn't look super bright and scary. It's very shiny. I'm gonna do some on my nose, just on like the tip, even on my chin a little, a little bit above my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this and hope that it looks nice on my brow bone. I'm just trying to use like the smallest amount and also a little bit extra on that inner corner. I'm gonna pack it on a bit. Oh my god, that looks so good. Big fan, big, big fan. Happy with that. Thanks guys. You guys chose so good. It looks like the pink has gone so far in it to my inner corners, but it's literally like the shadows right now. There's like a shadow next to my nose and I don't know how to get rid of it. <sighs> okay, a little bit more setting spray. Just a little. <laughs> That's so keen. Okay, onto the lip color. Uh, there's a peachy color and a pinky color, and I really hope it's the pinky one. I feel like peachy is just gonna look so out of it. Oh no, it is the peachy nude combination. Luckily, I did put the Mari color in there, so I can just do mostly that and then just a little touch of nude on top, I reckon, just to make it look good with this. So the combination is Mari Lip Pencil with Pink Sands on top by Tarte, which is so beautiful. I actually wore this in Thailand and I was just in love. I hope it goes with this makeup, let's see. Okay, so here is the lip pencil by itself and then a little bit of Pink Sands on top. Okay, you know what? That actually looks really nice. So, there you go. I thought it was going to be way too peachy, but it's not at all. It mostly turned out okay. I feel like I saved it. I feel like the products you guys chose were beautiful. I probably wouldn't have chosen to layer up the two Buxom products together because they were both so shimmery. So, it's a bit of a shimmer overboard just on my actual cheeks. It looks a little bit muddy. One or the other would have been good, you know, but... Oh wow, my complexion looks so freaking juicy and glowy, like holy shit, especially in person, looking at the mirror right now, like everything looks so nice. I like how you can still see my natural skin, but you know, like it doesn't look super crazy because I added some concealer as well, but I do actually really like the natural skin paired with the super dramatic eye makeup. I feel like it's just like a nice fresh kind of balance rather than doing like super heavy, super cakey foundation with like super intense eyes. You know what I mean? I just like the contrast. So thank you guys so much for helping me do my makeup today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do some more and I can definitely do more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.